Welcome inside to Bobcat Breakdown on the road. I'm Brian Schwartz with Quinnipiac men's basketball beat reporter Dylan Fearon. And Dylan, the men's basketball team lost to Niagara in the first round of the MAC tournament here at the Times Union Center. But should Tom Moore be concerned about his job? I think he should be concerned. I think, and he said so himself after the loss to Niagara. I mean, 10 seasons, zero NCAA tournament appearances. Look at the last three years, the record was 34 and 57. The last two seasons, they were 19 and 42. That's just not going to cut it. Greg Amodio wants an immediate winner in basketball. He wants to be at the top of the MAC every single season. And finishing eighth and losing the last seven games is just not going to cut it. I don't think he should be fired. I don't, I'm not saying he should be fired, but I'm saying he should definitely be concerned, which is what he said after the game. Well, the future of this team in jeopardy at the head coaching spot, they do have some stability at the point guard position with Peter Kiss and Mikey Dixon. Do you see them leading Quinnipiac to a MAC championship in the next three years? I don't know if they'll lead them to a MAC championship, but I think they'll be at the top of the MAC in the next couple of years while they're in Hamden. I mean, you got to look at the other teams. They're losing some serious firepower. Mama's losing a slew of scores and good defenders. Uh, Iona always loses a couple of guys. Siena's losing all their seniors. St. Peter's loses a couple of guys. Some of the best players in the MAC this season were freshmen. And so you look at the returners. Quinnipiac returns three really solid players in Peter Kiss, Mikey Dixon, and Chase Daniels uh, as the big man returning for them next season. Fairfield's got Tyler Nelson coming back. There are a couple other teams that return pieces. Iona always rebuilds really well. And so I think that they don't know if they'll win a MAC championship, but they will be certainly at the top of the conference the next couple of years. That is obviously something to look forward to for Quinnipiac and for the MAC. For Dylan Fearon, I'm Brian Schwartz. We'll see you next time.